China has begun talking to Hong Kong politicians and businessmen. Beijing says it wants their views on planned changes to the city's electoral system. China says only patriots should be allowed to run the city. So new systems will be put in place to vet candidates seeking to run in any election. Ron Deputy Director Zhang Xiaoming is saying that he is looking towards meaningful dialogue with the Hong Kong delegation. Uh, but he also laid down the ground rules to say that discussions cannot deviate from the electoral package that has already uh, been approved by the National People's Congress uh, earlier this month. Uh, so what's happening now between Monday and Wednesday is that there will be uh, more than 60 breakout sessions with uh, local delegates here in Hong Kong, uh, National People's Congress members, uh, pro-establishment figures, as well as the business elite, more than a thousand of them, will be meeting with a senior Hong Kong and Macau Affairs office officials uh, to exchange views. Um, Zhang also said that this electoral reform overhaul was important and symbolic because, one, it does improve the relationship between the government and the Legislative Council, and two, that it will also keep out or prevent anti-China troublemakers from trying to hijack uh, the Legislative Council, which is Hong Kong's lawmaking body. The electoral reform package is significant in the sense that, for number one, uh, there's going to be more power to the election committee. Now, this is the committee that actually selects uh, the chief executive. Uh, their numbers are set to be boosted from 1,200 to 1,500. There's going to be a, a new sector that's going to be added that's made up of uh, mainland patriots, uh, either mainland academics, uh, businessmen, associations. That will also, the EC will also increase its powers in being able to select and nominate its own legislative council members. So that means that the LegCo uh, members, currently there are only 70 seats uh, in parliament, that's going to increase as well from 70 by 20 to 90 seats, although the actual makeup of this uh, 90 seats is still not yet decided by the National People's Congress Standing Committee.